everybody, this is Praxis, and look at this beautiful entryway. This is the way it's been for the past couple of years. Every time we come home, we get this beautiful wall of silver foam that uh, has been welcoming us and all of our guests, although we haven't gotten any guests because, you know, we're preppers. I'm going to be working on this today, but I was able to finish up the one on the other side, mirror image of this, uh, yesterday, so let's go over and check that out. I wanted to start on this one over here first because I felt that... Well, usually when I have two different things that I need to do when they're fairly similar, I like to work on the one that I would want to mess up the most uh, out of the two in case, you know, there's a learning curve when you first kind of start with it. And, uh, you know, if I was going to mess something up, I'd rather have it be over on this side, which is, you know, it's not the main entrance to the house. So, um, with that said, I did it and it came out great. I'm, I'm totally happy with it. Uh, we got the boards going across here. They terminate down at this level. I would have liked to have had them go down a little bit lower. I, I'm thinking I'm a, I might put like kind of a bench here. Not so much for sitting, but for like, you know, you come in with like groceries and you want to put something down before you open the door. I, I wanted to do that, but the longest uh, scrap boards that I had were just about six feet. So instead of biting into much longer boards, I figured, you know, six feet will do. And I can, you know, pretty it up in some other way. But overall, I think it came together really nicely. Now, I want to talk about something really important in this video. And it's not what I'm wearing. Uh, what I'm wearing, though, I will be doing a video about this. This uh, cover shroud is really cool. And I'm going to be talking about uh, putting it into a bug out bag. Because I feel like this is, well, there's a lot of cool things about it. But we're not going to talk about that in this video. What I want to talk about in this video specifically is uh, the mistake that I'm about to make. I know that I'm making this mistake, but I'm going to do it anyway. And it involves this area right down here. This is the last board that's going to be going in, and this is going to be an offender. But even this board here is an offender as well. This is going to sit right in here on top, and I, I tested it earlier. I'm going to have to use this mini sledge to kind of tap it in. It's pretty snug, but that's a good thing. Um, the problem here is this is open to the weather. This surface here gets some rain and spatter, you know, when rain, rain blows in. Uh, the, the roof hangs out to about there, but still, you know, wind will bring it in. This gets wet. There can be some pooling here. And what do you think is going to happen to the water? Well, the water is going to kind of go down here. It's going to get under these boards. Uh, and I'm doing this because I want to get this area covered up. You know, mice and things can get in here. I want to get it sealed up. But ultimately, what I'm going to have to do is uh, kind of flash this out. Now, why am I not flashing it right now? Well, the reason I'm not flashing it now is I don't really know exactly how I'm going to finish this out. I want some kind of a surface here that you can put things on, some kind of a surface that is going to shed water to the outside. I just, I haven't decided exactly what I want to do for it. So I'm putting this up for now with the full knowledge. I'm going to have to be taking off this board and this board at some point when I finish this out. And I'm going to be kind of retooling, you know, what this, what this shape is over it. Uh, because at the moment, I just, uh, I don't really know exactly how I want to finish this thing out. So that being said, I am still going to put this in here. It fits, fits right in like that. And like I said, I should be able to use the, uh, the little mini sledge to tap it in. Now I know these video rolls on this camera are limited to five minutes. We may cut out during this if I run out of time, but I'll uh, try to share with you as much of this pounding as I can because uh, everyone loves a good video with a good pounding in it. So let's see. Hopefully this still fits in. I tested it earlier. One issue with the idea that I'm going to have to pull this out later is this, it is really snug. It might be a little bit of a mistake, but man, I love it when I get like a couple of boards and they're really snug up against each other. All right, I'm going to kick it this way. You'll notice I'm using this uh, little block here to doing the, for doing the tapping. If you hit the board itself, you damage the board up. This distributes the uh, impact over a larger area. Good. Now that's not going to come out easy later on. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right, so that's the idea. I'm going to screw that in, and uh, ain't no more mice going to be getting in there. We got an electrical outlet here, which will be nice for running power to the outside. Slowly but surely, things are coming along. That's it. Thanks for watching.